Hello everyone, my name is Nansu Kumar and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about a topic called as Is transition into a tech industry difficult? It's question mark. My answer to this one will be no. So just try to think in this way, right? So when we are trying to make a transition from one technology to other technology, right? So from our perspective, what is our like uh, initial thoughts we used to get? So we think that, that, okay, I'll try to prepare, I'll try to study, I'll try to explore, and then I will try to make a transition, right? And when we go for an interview, a situation will be a little bit different over there, right? So expectation from our industry will be uh, to like uh, get someone or to hire or to onboard someone who is already having some sort of a experience into that particular domain or maybe that particular technology. That is the expectation from an industry perspective. Now we are supposed to understand that our perspective and industry perspective is in sync or not. Whether these two factors, these two things are matching or not whatever industry is expecting and whatever I have created as an assumption, right? And whatever planning, whatever like a study or maybe a, like a research or maybe a kind of a exploration I was trying to do, right? So whether this is aligned towards a industry expectation or not. And if you are able to understand these two part, what I believe is that yes, your life will be easy when you are trying to make a transition and instead of spending so much of time right just in a preparation easily you all will be able to make a transition for example i myself right if i'll talk about myself so i have started my journey right uh, in sap sap and that too in sap a uh, sap webdyner pro then fury ui5 and then hana and then gradually i have moved into a big data and then I have moved into a data science, right? So again, when I talk about uh, big data, so core big data part, right? A complete development, implementation, each and everything. When I'm talking about a data science, so it can be a uh, machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, NLP, right? Or advanced NLP. So here, how I have made a transition or what kind of a strategy or what kind of a plan I have created uh, for my transition. So it's completely fine. First of all, what I will do is so I'll try to understand the industrial perspective, right? So let's suppose tomorrow if I have done a, a preparation and then if I'm going for a transition, what will be their expectations in an interview, right? So for sure, their expectation will be to uh, like a, a project part, right? So their expectation will be to explain or to talk about a project, a project that you have mentioned, right? For a technology in which you are trying to make a transition a next transition for sure right or for which you are attending a interview so they will start talking about a project and then they will be talking about that okay fine what was your roles and responsibility what was your contribution what was a day-to-day -day hurdles or challenges that you have faced so this will be the expectation and then they will try to talk about some of the direct or maybe scenario based question now, how I will be able to prepare for this? This is the industry expectation, right? And when I'm trying to like uh, prepare something, so I'm trying to start from A, B, C, D of each and everything, means scratch of each and everything, right? And maybe I have prepared enough, right? I have like uh, done my preparation. So now I know each and everything about a particular technology. So let's suppose if I'm talking about uh, business analytics, right? So maybe I'm aware about a Tableau, uh, I'm aware about a Power BI, I'm aware about a SQL, I know a Python as well, right? So apart from that, I know all these things. There's, there's no issue with that, right? I'm completely aware about it. But maybe if I'm not able to convert these entire learning in terms of a project, then that will be a bottleneck or that is going to create a hurdle, right? Because from your side, from your perspective, you are able to prepare yourself. But from an industry side, which is expecting a project part, which is expecting some sort of a real life explanation, a real work from your side, right? So if you are not able to cope up with these two things, 
then it creates a problem and this is a place where i feel personally it's my again personal suggestion that i i feel that that it's a bottleneck it's a hurdle right so whenever you are trying to make a transition my simple advice or from my side will be to look into both the factors yes learning is very very important right so unless and until you are not able to learn how you will be able to do a project it will be difficult i completely agree with this part right so yes try to start from a b c d so basic of each and everything right try to get some sort of a label try to achieve some sort of a label where you should feel that okay fine so now i'm able to understand a particular stack right particular technology stack now what i will do i will in parallel to this my learning right so in parallel to my learning so i will start doing some sort of a implementation because at the end of the day so this is something which is going to help you out so you are supposed to balance out your learning as well as your project side or we can say implementation side if you are going to balance out both the side project side as well as your learning side this is where your transition is going to be very very smooth i was talking to many people recently right so i was talking to many people who have done a transition in a recent days and this is a, again same kind of a story i have received from all the achievers or all the number of like a people right who have made a transition with a different different kind of a who is who is coming from a different different kind of a background or uh, maybe their technology stack was different and they have made a transition into a different technology stack so just one last line for all of you that try to balance out try to balance out your learning and your implementation so if you are going in sync right if you are doing these two things in parallel right as per industry standard for sure you will be able to make a transition or whatever you would like to achieve it will be easy for you it will be very very easy for you right and in this way you will be able to understand a uh, things which you are trying to learn in a easy way believe me first couple of days it is going to be tough for you but after some days it is not going to give you a pain and you will enjoy learning as well as you will enjoy the implementation part with that thank you so much guys hope you have liked this video please share subscribe uh, if you have liked this video and uh, see you again in my next video with that thank you so much have a great day and night ahead